hello friends today in this uh, tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can uh, upload uh, files download files or you can delete files to amazon web storage s3 which basically it's a special form of storage which offered by amazon web services so aws s3 file upload download delete so we will be reading all the files which will be there inside your AWS S3 dashboard you can see this is my dashboard here and uh, there are a bu bucket here we can see coding Siksha bucket and no files are present right here so it is no files. so you can see we are displaying the name of the file size download delete so this is purely in the JavaScript environment guys on the client side so no server side code is involved so we are using AWS S3 SDK using the CDN so we are you can see that we are including the CDN here in the code as well you can see we are using the SDK software development kit which offered by AWS so it's completely in the one single file in the browser using HTML and JavaScript so you just have to have index.html file that's all and all this source code we have written we haven't used Node.js Express so in the last video I have shown you how to use Node.js Express in order to achieve the similar functionality but now we will be using only the JavaScript code here. You will see guys now we have this interface where we can upload a file layer. It can be image file, video file, any file of your choice so as you click upload guys you will see this file will be uploaded and you will get a notification. This file is uploaded right here the size of the file and there is basically this download hyperlink as I click the download button guys our file will be downloaded if you want to see which file you have downloaded to your Amazon S3 storage bucket you will see guys this is the file which gets uploaded right here June 16 you can see that and we can even download it you can see the file will be downloaded and now you can see your file right here whichever file that you uploaded and uh, basically let's suppose I select the second file here upload so you can see this file has been uploaded so again if I refresh here you will see the same thing happen here two files are there and now we can even download this file as well you can see that so it's a purely crud kind of an application where we can upload read delete and uh, download as well now if I click delete guys this file will be deleted only one file will be there if I refresh the page only one file will remain and also here also in the AWS S3 dashboard you will see only one file remaining here once again I can delete here also so no file is available you can see that all the files deleted you will see that so this is a nice little application guys only a single HTML file is needed so we will be doing all this stuff on the client side using the SDK which is provided by AWS so let's start building this application from scratch guys so I will be sh seeing you in the next section so now guys the very first thing in this process is to basically create some uh, bucket where we can upload the files and also we need to create a user as well so first of all guys just go to your Amazon dashboard and in the services tab just select here S3 just search for S3 and inside this go to this S3 it's a scalable storage for Amazon S3 where we can store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere so there is an option here called as create bucket click this option and now you need to give your bucket a unique name so here I will give this bucket coding Siksha this is my bucket and by default the region will be selected here of your own location so wherever you are you don't need to modify these settings so simply click on the create bucket option and your bucket will be created right here so now guys we can directly upload files to this bucket by selecting here upload option and it have add files option here and basically we can go to it directly upload an image file like this and click on upload you can see that it is directly uploaded this you can see succeeded so this is the file which gets uploaded we can even perform all these operations we can delete as well simply we just need to write here permanently delete so you can perform all these actions in the uh, dashboard also but we will be looking at how to do this programmatically now as you created this uh, bucket guys now you need to create go to user simply type search user and here you need to create a user guys so simply go to user and here we need to click on add user 
we need to create a root user you can give any name of your choice but i will be giving at by default username is root click on next and after this guys you just need to click on next again and uh, then again click on create user so now your user is created guys so after this you need to go to this user and here you need to basically add the permissions so the permission guys basically click on add permission and uh, we will attach the uh, policies directly so select these third option and here we need to select for the permission guys which is s3 full access this is basically the permission guys as we need to select here because we are working with s3 storage bucket engine you need to click on this option and select this permission that's all we need to select this permission guys and click on next so we need to click this option add permission simply add this permission and now guys your permission has been attached you have have these permissions so this you can uh, uh, create or upload files you can download files you can delete files all those permissions have been granted now guys we need to create a access access key here so how we can do that we need to go to security credentials and then we need to create this access key this is really important guys access key and here we need to select the second option here which is local mode and then just select this option i understand and click on next and then click on create access key so this will give you your own access key guys this is really important you need to store this information in a very uh, i let me store it inside my notepad file so i will need this information access key and all this stuff so simply copy this access key and uh, your secret key as well so this is your secret access key so this will be only be shown for this first time so you better uh, store it somewhere else because you will need this secret key as well and now i will delete all this information once i finish this video so don't copy my information click on done and now your access key has been created that's all so this is the setup process guys that you need to do for this amazon s3 storage crud application so now we can start our node.js express or any sort of application that we are building so uh, one additional step guys after have you created this access key and all that stuff you need to basically go to your bucket so wherever you have created your bucket simply click on the bucket and go to permissions and here guys basically we are uh, as you can see we are opening uh, we are developing it on local host so this is local host it is running on port 5500 so we need to basically allow the course uh, permission which is cross origin resource sharing we need to enable this on our aws bucket so there is this option called as uh, if you see cross origin resource sharing it will be empty by default you need to click on edit and simply i will paste the code that i am showing you right here simply paste this code guys this is an array of uh, object we are allowing all origins if you want to allow a single website let's suppose your website you can put an address right here https followed by your own address but star means that we are allowing all origins and we are allowing these methods here which is get put post delete and allowed headers is also star simply add this to your cross origin resource sharing and click on save changes this is that step guys after you do that you are all set to go for building your javascript application which allows you to upload files to aws download read and as well and delete as well i will be seeing you in the next section so now guys i am here inside my visual studio code text editor i have created this html file so if you want the full source code guys the link is given in the description of the video you can purchase the full source code if you have any sort of doubt i will be writing the code step by step so this is the aws sdk guys we will be including a script tag right here after the body so this is the script tag which offers the aws sdk we will also be using bootstrap so just we are including the css for bootstrap that's all and then inside our container class so bootstrap guys basically we will have uh, a text and center heading that is uh, aws s3 storage file crud app in javascript 
and then guys we will have a simple form where we can upload files so we will have an input type file and we will be giving a name uh, which is this is a bootstrap class form control and we will give it an id of file input just make it as required and then guys we will have a button simple button we will say upload file so if you just write like this guys this is your interface which is ready right here aws s3 storage and we have a simple choose file button and a button and now we will basically write our javascript code guys in a separate file we will say script.js so you just create a new file here so inside this file guys what we need to do right here basically we need to upload a file first of all so we need to here define some variables first will be the region so my region is US East, US East 1 and then the all such information guys access key secret key so this will be different for you I illustrated that process early on how to get these things and then we will simply use this method AWS config update and we will pass these uh, options region to region uh, credentials is basically we will initialize this SDK like this we will pass this information secret access key so this is the SDK initialization process guys and here we just need to replace your own details let me just paste my details right here that's all so after you do this guys it becomes very much easy now we just need to instantiate a new instance of AWS S3 storage like this and uh, after this basically if you see uh, just wait I think yeah so first of all guys uh, we will be reading all the files which are available so what i will say is that we will create a function which is refresh file list and here we just need to pass your own bucket name so my bucket name is coding siksha so here we will basically create this function which will be refresh it will hold the bucket name function so here we will fetch all the files which are available inside the bucket and it we will display it inside a table so for that we just need to go to the index.html file here and here we will after this div tag we will basically have a h2 tag uploaded files we will have a table and uh, We will give it an ID to the table, file table. So we will hold these details, name of the file, size of the file, download link and delete. So these will be two buttons out there, download, delete. And then we will have the table body. So if you just refresh now, we will have this table right here. So once we load this application, now we just need to inside this table, we need to here just paste it here. So basically here we are using query selector guys, we are selecting this table. We have given this ID file table if you see here and inside this we are targeting this table body tag. So if you see right here and we are in our HTML making it to empty. And then this SDK guys which is S3 it basically provides a method which is list objects version 2 and here we just need to provide the bucket option so bucket will be bucket name this returns a callback function if any sort of error take place or the data 
so here data will hold all the files which will be there and if error take place we can console log the message error fetching file list you can see that how easy it is we are calling this uh, SDK method which will basically return all the files to us and if no error take place in that else block we will say data contents for each let me just console log the data for you just to make sure that this data is returning so console log data so now if you reload the page guys you will see that AWS credentials is not a constructor let me check guys AWS AWS config update okay just put I think semicolon new AWS okay sorry C is capital guys here credentials this is a mistake so if you just refresh now you will see that guys now we will get this uh, array of files contents here you will see only two files are there if you now reload your uh, bucket go to bucket here and if you see two files are present if I go to the bucket two files are present and if you see in the contents here it's an array here it contains two files this is a key here which is the name of the file and the actual size we will display all this information and you will see that so how we can now display this information it's very easy so we will basically now run a for each loop on this so it's very easy now so here data dot contents basically this is an array here and we will be running a for each loop here and for each file here or we can say it's an object this is basically an arrow function and inside this guys basically what we will do we will create a new row we will create element tr and here we will basically hold the name of the file so here for this we are creating td tag and file name cell this value will be simply the key here which is object dot key which will hold basically the name of the file so this is object now object dot key now we need to append this file row append child and we will append this file name cell that's all and similarly we will do this for the size as well same code but the property will be different you will see object dot size in this case and uh, now we will basically have the download button and the delete button so for that we will basically have download button create element td and uh, here we will hold the link of the download file so once you click the download button what should happen so for that we will say download link href property and here it provides a method guys which is get signed URL this is the method of the SDK and here we need to pass get object so this returns and uh, we need to pass some configuration options the bucket name and the key so here the key will be object dot key the name of the file that's all and now what, what we can do right here we can say download link dot text content and it will be simply be download download cell append child we will append this link and then lastly we will say file row append child this download cell that's all 
and similarly guys we will have the delete button uh, lastly let me just say table body append child file row so whatever file row that we created right here if you see if you now refresh now you will see guys uh, download is showing here the size is also showing if you click download the file will be downloaded so whatever file is there you will see that it is now showing here you will see the download button is working perfectly guys you will see and this is the method which we have used here which automatically generates the URL for us which this is get signed URL this is the method here of the SDK but the name is not there let me just check guys this needs to be object key just change this and now the name is also showing here you will see that the size and for the delete option guys it's very easy uh, the delete option will be very easy for this we will simply here say delete cell document dot create element td and we will have the delete button create element which will be a button delete button and we will basically uh, have the text content here this will be delete we will basically bind a on click listener to this button when we click this button what should happen so inside this callback function guys what we will say is that we will create a method which will be delete file we'll pass the bucket name and the name of the file object key so now how to do this guys so inside this uh, delete file method let me write this method delete file this will have bucket name and the key key is actually the name of the file and here we will say params the bucket is bucket name and the key is key and now this SDK guys provides a method for deleting it so this is delete object and we will pass the parameters and this returns a callback function which will be uh, file deleted successfully so now guys uh, we just need to call refresh file list method once again and pass the bucket name that's all and uh, if you now refresh the button guys uh, okay I think we need to add this delete button to the row so we will say that uh, file row okay delete cell append child delete button and also we need to add a file row we need to add this as a append child which is delete cell so now this delete button will be showing guys you will see that and if I basically click delete now you can see automatically that file is deleted and if you refresh your dashboard there will be a single file which will be there you will see that only a single file if I delete this also that file will also get deleted so now we are missing the upload part guys so I need to basically choose a file so that I can directly upload that file to AWS so this is really easy guys uh, we will basically write a function which will allow us to upload the file so for that what we will say upload files we will basically add this method and uh, right here uh, once we have this button right here guys if you see this button we need to add add a on click listener to it so once the user click this button we will basically 
execute this function upload files and here we will pass the bucket name so coding section that's all so this function will automatically trigger guys upload files so now we need to define this function in our javascript code so right here function upload files bucket name so inside this function guys what we need to do right here it's very easy uh, basically we will select the file input whatever files the user has selected after that we will count the files files dot length and we will basically run a for loop here i think multiple files are also supported that's why we are counting the files you can also select multiple files i plus plus for that we just need to add a multiple attribute inside our html like this so just add this multiple attribute so here we can select multiple files it will run a for loop for each file it will do this process first of all provide the bucket name and provide the key which will be file dot name and the body the actual file that's all guys after that we will basically use the stk method which is upload we will pass the parameters so this returns a callback function and here we will say file uploaded so we will once again file uploaded and once again we will pass refresh file list to refresh the table that's all or we can directly pass the variable which is bucket name this is all guys the application so if you now refresh your application choose a file click upload file the file is uploaded to the bucket so we have built this programmatic application guys which interacts with your aws cloud s3 bucket storage and allows you to download files delete upload read all the files it's a full stack application so you will see how easy it is you can also select multiple files as well so we have selected two files if you see upload file so now you will see two files have been successfully uploaded you will see now three files will be there so multiple files are also supported so let's suppose we want to select here these much files 12 files we selected so with a single click you will see that all the files will get uploaded so now you can see that all these files are uploaded so the link is given in the description guys if you want the full source code if you have still doubt you can purchase the full source code the link is given you can go to stripe after the payment you will get this full source code this full uh, html source code and javascript source code thank you very much for watching this video